The facility in New Orleans e shipped part of a rocket that will be used in a historic trip to space. It's so cool. The launch of Artemis 2 is a little over a year away, mm -hmm. but today Leah McNeil met some of the astronauts who will be a part of that mission. A little piece of New Orleans created right here at NASA's Michoud facility in the east will soon be put together for a massive history making rocket. Much like the hands that put it together, this massive gas tank. 212 foot long booster segment that's going to propel American astronauts back to the moon for the first time in uh, 50 or so years. Will soon be a part of something much bigger than itself. This space launching system is the first to come out of NASA's New Orleans East facility since the 1970s. This team of astronauts will make history as the first woman, person of color, and Canadian to board a spaceship and set the stage to return to the moon, then go further than humans have ever gone before. The crew is, uh, you know, they're, they're rock stars and everybody kind of wants to be around them and talk to them and see, you know, see uh, what's, what's going through their head. I feel like we've just swam a few laps in the pool because of the <laughs> humidity and the heat here. Artemis 2 Commander Reed Weissman is looking forward to the cool temperatures on board the Orion spaceship and a view like no other. I want to feel the raw emotion of going around the moon, looking through the moon at our planet, our beautiful planet Earth, with Jeremy, with Victor, with Christina. And I just want to record that and I, I will cherish that forever. As the first Canadian set to go to outer space, Jeremy Hansen says this exploration is so much more than a historic mission. It's first our important, but it's really important not to be the last. And that's what you're going to see in Artemis. Artemis 2 is just a stepping stone along the way. We're going to do some extraordinary things in the future. We'll walk on the moon. We're going to send people to Mars. It's a chance to be a part of something much bigger than himself. We have over 40 nations around the world that have come together for the peaceful exploration of the moon and deep space. That is bringing the world together. That is what we want to encourage in Artemis. Now, once this 212 foot system makes its way on a barge, it's going to be heading over to the Kennedy Space Station in Florida, where it will be assembled and put together already for a projected launch of September 2025. Reporting at NASA's Mishu facility in New Orleans East, Leah McNeil, WWL, Louisiana.